Good morning, guys. So, this is a very impromptu video. Um, just wanted to pop on here and do a little car ride um, while I'm on my way to work. But first things first, I do have to oil my lips because they're very, very dry. And we can't come in on here crusty and dusty like that first thing in the morning. Okay, so while I'm about to sit in traffic, because I definitely know that I, I am definitely about to sit in traffic given the time, it's now 7.18 and I'm coming pretty much from the east area of, east area? Southeast area of the island and I have to get down to town. Oh my God, guys, I wish you guys could see the moon. I could literally see the moon clear as day right now. It's so pretty. Anyway off topic please i do apologize guys if this video goes wicka wackle um and not very structured i'm just letting out my thoughts right now and yeah so today is the 19th of january 2022 and i'm giving you the date of this video because yesterday the 18th of January 2022, which was a Tuesday, I basically resigned from my job. Um, I gave them one month of notice and let them know that I'm leaving. And when I, coming up to the day of resigning from my job, I was very skeptical about, you know, am I going to find something else? How long am I going to be unemployed for? Basically, how the hell am I going to support myself um, while making this decision that I feel is best for me? Um, I did, if you guys didn't catch my Instagram the other day, I said that I, or I mentioned that I will be, you know, resigning from my job as of the month of January because I feel like this area of work serves me no purpose anymore and I think it's time that I leave. There was an incident that happened. There was an incident that happened at work, and the error wasn't only mine, it was someone else's. But the blame got it got blamed on me because I have been making quite a few mistakes um, as of the last couple of weeks. So once you have that bad taste in your employer's mouth, every incident that you're involved in, whether it's your fault or not you're gonna take you're gonna put the blame on you pretty much um yeah so i am going to be done here i'm not coming i'm not gonna be staying here much longer because i am currently pretty much putting myself through so much stress and um i'm struggling you do a job that is the last thing that you want to do you want to make sure that you have a job where you know that you're doing your best and you know you're not struggling sorry guys for the bad lighting there we go lighting's back but yeah that's the last thing you want to do is put yourself through any stress when you have a when you're in a job especially if it's a new job where you're pretty much an associate and you don't really know as much and you have a lot of people coming down on you um, because they're saying, oh, you don't you don't take time to do this or you don't take time to learn this. But it also contributes to the fact that I am pretty much failing in my job because I didn't have the, I, f I felt like I didn't have the proper training. Um, I have very vague knowledge of, um, you know, the area that I was studying or the job that I was um, performing in. And I felt like I could have excelled a little bit more had I been given a little bit more um, leniency in terms of the mistakes that I've made and granted those mistakes were made um, because I wasn't trained properly and the mistakes that I've made it, it, it lands on me because they're made by me but what they see is nothing was really instilled from the very beginning um, I feel like they expected me to have come in and have experience in that area just not having it anyway guys same that 
very same day because I prayed on God for something better, something in the area that I wanted to be in. Landed an interview, pretty much didn't get anywhere yet. So, alright guys, so I'm at work, but I just want to finish this video real quick. Um, I basically was, I don't know where I left off in this video, but I was basically saying that I'm gonna leave a workplace that doesn't serve me anymore, per doesn't serve me anymore, or I feel like I don't have a purpose. Um, pretty much the same day that I pretty much resigned from my job. I, because I gave God praise and I know that he's always on my side, I pretty much went in and got an interview the next day for the actual position that I wanted. And that was super dope. And I pretty much cried because I was pretty much hung up on how I was gonna support myself. Um, you know, how long am I gonna be temporarily unemployed for? Um, you know, what am I going to do pretty much at this point if I cannot find a job quick enough because I still have bills to pay. When you're unemployed, you don't want, that's not the best feeling to have bills piled in up and no money coming in. That was a main concern of mine. However, by the grace of God, he came through and this is why I am, I'm, I'm glad that I take the time out of my day more than often to give God praise for being in my life and for standing on my side um, and for guiding me through. It's very scary to up and leave your job when you don't even know what is to come next. But, you know, 2022 is looking out for our mental health and doing what's best for us and putting that into effect 10 times more than we did last year or more than I did last year. And yeah, I was very, like, leading up to the day, I was very um, skeptical about everything. Like, everything is just running through my mind. I have a runner's mind, so I constantly think about different things on a regular basis. And the instant that I felt like I needed to up and leave here, the job that I'm at, it was nerve-wracking. <laughs> but because I had faith in myself and pretty much trusted myself and trusted the progress um yeah everything everything pretty much worked out and yeah i am very very grateful for that but for all of you guys that are out there um i know this video is a little different than what you expect here on my channel but as i said i want to open up a little bit more with you guys so any of you guys i just want to say that if if any of you are going through the same situation that I'm in, um, it's not worth your mental health staying in a position or staying at a company that is not doing you any good and you're not getting anything out of it. There's no room for growth. Like there's, it's doing more damage than it's doing good. Um, and there's this whole philosophy thing around or this whole thing around, you know, your rookie years are gonna be your worst years. Um, I don't, I know that ha happens to most organizations, but I feel like that cycle needs to be broken. Um, you should not give anyone a hard time the first year of being employed in an organization because it's the year of learning. And even after that, everyone's still learning new things. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share this story with you guys and just let you know that you're not alone if you're going through the same situation where it's the beginning of the year, you're taking your mental health, you're taking, putting you first to a total extreme and you realize that your job is not aligning with those, um, those needs that you are, or goals for the new year. And yeah, I'm here to tell you, just trust the progress, pray, definitely pray. Anyway guys, people are pretty much rolling in to the parking lot, so I will talk to you guys later.